right, we'll try it around there. Hey Jack, how are you? So I'll just take another shot. This looks like a good star. Now how do you select auto? Is it somewhere up in here? Oh yeah, there. Okay, so you just click there. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Uh, maybe about 20 minutes, Jack. Very good. Um, we're using PHD with the uh, new Melicam Auto Guider. This is the black and white one. So right now I just calibrated PHD. We're using one second exposure. So let's uh, begin auto guiding. Let's see what happens. And we'll go back to the graph. And let's see what happens. Looks like the mount is communicating, uh, Jack, with the uh, drivers, the ASCOM drivers, for uh, the uh, Melicam Auto Guider. Thanks, Bob. Let's see if that's better. I like turning on the thread, thread lines too. RA is the purple, deck is the red. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, let's wait and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. And we need the guiding good because with the HA filter, we're uh, going pretty, pretty long, up to 90 seconds. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot better. I think we're good to go. Oh, let's see. We had a jump there. It's not bad. Seems to be okay. Yeah, it is, Jack. Little bit of wind. Yeah, we got a little bit. Okay, we're going off here. Whoa, it just plopped it all the way down. Hey, Curtis. I have no idea if it's in pixels or milliseconds.
Yeah, that, that really went crazy in deck. RA seems to be a bit... Okay, we're in pixels. Let me go on there again. Yeah, these are grayed out. The uh, y-axis units, arc seconds, are grayed out. These three here. Y is in four, plus or minus four. Yeah, it looks like we got a big jump in between here. Okay, arc seconds, and I can't, yeah, it's grayed out, arc seconds. It's probably the way the driver is. Yeah, it is doing better, definitely doing better than before. I wonder if going to a half second would make any difference, but I think a second, we could try uh, one second. Let's uh let's give it a try and see. I think you have to turn the guiding off. Well, let's go 90 seconds, see what happens. Or let's just do one minute. Okay, one minute underway. While we're waiting, we'll bring this back up. It seems to be doing better. <laughs> no problem. I do that too. North is one point. No, north is two point over two pixels. Which is definitely too high. North is the uh, declination. Might be peck. It's not balance. I balanced the uh, scope prior to uh, starting.
Okay, it's smoothing out. I do have that uh, every four minutes, that little error, but this is beyond that. I think I'm at max gain. I have to figure out how to do that. I have to uh, figure out how to check out uh, the gain for this camera. That's what I was saying, Skyhound. I left everything at default. I never used PHD. This is my first time using it. I'm a Maxim user, so it's a whole different software. Can you change the gr aggressiveness on the fly? Okay. Okay. Aggressiveness. Let's see where it is. G11. Lost Mandy G11. It's an old one. Let me see if that came up. Yeah, the stars don't look like they're... Uh, too bad though. Uh, the focal length's not really high. And it's a double star there. Yeah, much better than before. A lot tighter at least. Yeah, I have the Gemini 2, or Gemini 1, no, the Gemini 1, the older one. Yeah, yeah, the graph is very sensitive. Like, for me, this is pretty good. I'll zoom into it. That's not that bad. Yeah, it seems not too, too bad. For observing, I think it's good. I know, that's what I'm worried about. I don't have any parts at all for this. This is all original, my mount. But I take good care of it. Thanks, Jack. I think it looks good. That's at 150% zoomed. Uh, I'm going to probably take it up to 90 seconds, but let's see what happens. Uh, let me just adjust the histogram a little bit. This is not stacking either. It's just a single image. Okay, I just raised the black and lowered the white point a little bit. Gain on this is 4 on the uh, Sky Raider DSM. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can go 8 to 10 minutes, Bob, for NSN. <laughs> I don't think pe people would uh, stick around. Okay, let me just stretch this so I can see what you guys are saying here. Okay, I'll put this back to 100%. Now that's not looking too bad. I think I'll increase the exposure exposure another 30 seconds. Let's go to 90.
three seconds. Oh, see, I had it on two seconds, Skyhound. And uh, Bob uh, said that the um, G11 likes uh, 0.5 to one second. So you're using three seconds. I'd prefer to go a little bit longer, too, to get more stars to select. Yeah. Well, that's why we're testing the guider tonight, Bob, so we might as well try different settings to see what works. I'm just going to wait for this uh, 90 second just to see how it's holding up at 90. We just raise this black point a little bit. 225. What his D is that the DSC uh, Jack you're talking about, Frank uh, Green? Okay, yes. Very good. This is uh, the DSM. I think this is more sensitive, Bob, the color DSC. It's got the 829. The 829 is supposed to be more sensitive than the 428. It's supposed to be 3,200 millivolts compared to 1,600. My 428, it's a black and white, though. It's very sensitive. I kind of like it over the uh, exterminator black and white. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It is. Actually, I should put my um, I should put my um, 428 on because this is so hard to adjust because I got to wait for the adjustments. Now, my dark uh, correction doesn't seem to be working that great. I'm going to disable it. And let's see what happens. I am seeing an amp glow here, right there. I don't know if you guys can see there that, but there is some amp glow there. Yeah. And I did do darks. I did three 90-second darks. Yeah. Well, I just... Uh, disabled the dark field correction so let's see what happens when the next refresh comes it seems to be all right for now see you Curtis They're pretty good, yeah. They're pretty good. See, because this is interlaced, this camera, we have to be tracking really well. Or we're going to see some lines where they're, not, where they're shifting a little bit. And around the outer edge of the star, it looks pretty good. I'm probably going to go into the settings and uh, of uh, pH, PhD, and check them and try something different. Okay, we should have something coming up soon without the dark field. Just seeing how much this amp glow and warm pixel show up without it. Oh yeah. Color's a lot harder. 
a lot harder to work with. Okay, very good, Jack. All right, there, something there. All right, so that's without dark field correction. So it seems seems like it's helping quite a bit with the uh, pixels, warm pixels, and amp low is down a bit. So let's put it back on. Yeah, more amp low for sure. But gain is at four, Jack gain is a uh, pretty high because of the HA filter I don't want to be running three minute exposures so I opted to put the gain high for this filter no five is max so we're getting up there <laughs>